Hi everybody. Uh, welcome to phillysketchbook.com. Uh, this is like my third or fourth video going up on the website. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, featured article on Avo Murs, my uh, good graffiti artist friend from Philly. Um, somebody had mentioned that they wanted to see some commentary on the videos, so... I figured I would try it out. I'm like not the most talkative guy on the planet and uh, I don't usually like to get in front of the camera at all but uh, hey let's give it a shot see what we do. Um, anyhow in this video I wanted to share some of my supplies with you guys before I actually put my artwork down. Um, I figured it might be a little bit helpful to some of the younger artists out there that might come across this video. Uh, who knows? Anyhow, the first thing that I always use is a blue non-repro pencil. Uh, these are made by Prismacolor. There's also uh, another brand called Cola Race. Um, they erase much better, the Cola Race ones, but I don't tend to like them because the lead seems a little bit harder and it seems like you have to do a little bit more work to get the lines down. These ones are real nice because it's a softer lead and it's a waxier lead. So, I mean, you get you get much better line quality out of these, I think. Um, the number on them is PC919 and it says uh, non-photo blue. I would imagine you can probably get these for something like 50 cents a piece at Dick Blick or someplace like that in the city. Um, a lot of illustrators and animators use these um, just for the simple fact that you can put your sketch down and, um, you know, scan your image into Photoshop and delete the blue channel entirely and the blue sketch work underneath will not show up whatsoever. Um, it's really useful. At some point down the road when I get a little bit of spare time, I'll, I'll uh, show you guys how to actually delete the blue channel in Photoshop. Um, it's pretty magical. Um, let's see, the second thing I'll be using today will be my uh, Prismacolor. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, not Prismacolor. These are Prang Professional Watercolors. Um, these are really cheap. Um, I found, I found a whole shelf of these in northeastern Pennsylvania for like a buck a piece. So I cleared a whole entire shelf. I'll open these up so you can see. Um, they have these nice little watercolor cakes right here. Um, and these indentations in the top. So you can actually mix your colors. One of the things I would suggest doing though is get yourself a nice, uh, palette, a larger palette to mix your colors on because if you have little space like this it tends to like muddy up your colors really quickly and you don't really want that happening you want to keep your colors as clean as possible because it'll give you a much more bright uh, saturated color on the paper um, third thing that I usually use for inking um, I found these pens online on jetpens.com. They're about two bucks a piece. These are called zebra pens. Uh, all the script on the side is written in Chinese or Japanese. I don't really know. I can't read what it says, but it is called a zebra pen. They're about two bucks a piece. Um, the nice thing about these is that it has a nice uh, fine brush tip, if you can see here you can get like a really fine line out of them or you can get like a really nice heavy weight line out of them um, they're pretty nice pens I, I enjoy uh, inking with them uh, I would I would assume any cartoonist any artist illustrator would really enjoy these pens um, I also have this Tombow pen here which is I prefer the Tombow over the zebra pen. It's pretty much the same thing as the zebra pen here. Um, you can get a really fine line or a really thick line out of it. But I think the Tombow pen uh, works a little better, bit better for me. 
it's, I guess, a, just a matter of preference, uh, which one you would like better. And lastly, the, the, the thing that I like to use for highlights would be like a white paint marker. You can get these anywhere in the city um, that sells art supplies. Utrecht, Dick Blick, one of those places. Um, I would be cautious about purchasing the Sharpie ones just because the tips of them tend to get clogged real easily. And you don't want to really spend that much time trying to... Uh, you know, upkeep your supplies. Um, if you have to spend a little bit more money to get a good quality product, uh, it makes more sense to do that. This one's actually called Galaxy Marker, and I think I bought this one at like a AC Moore or someplace like that. I I don't really remember exactly where I bought it, but it tends to do the job. I have quite a few of them um, by different brands, um, but any paint marker. Um, white paint marker should work well for you. Um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the extent of the supplies I'll be using for this video. Oh, one last thing, uh, one last necessary thing, the needed eraser. <laughs> I mean, I don't use erasers too often, but uh, the needed eraser is probably one of your best assets for drawing. Um, they stretch out, which is really cool, stretch out to clean them. Somebody had told me years ago that um, if you take these erasers and rub them against a carpet, that it cleans them just as well as stretching them out. It's kind of a goofy concept to me, so I don't, <laughs> I've never really tried it. I mean, you can try it if you want to, but uh, more power to you if you do. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's the extent of the supplies I'll be using for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video following. Um, thank you for the support so far. You can visit the website at www.phillysketchbook.com. Uh, there'll be a bunch more of artists from the city taking part in the website soon, uh, hopefully. I'm trying to get a better camera for better quality videos, um, but I really appreciate everybody watching the videos and keeping up on the website. Thank you so much.